In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create this engraved and priced effect. Hi, my name is Manuel. We'll create an animated paper texture using mostly turbulent noise, some expressions, and then carve out whatever you want, so stick around. Let's start with the paper texture. I already created a new comp named Paper Texture and now add a new solid to Command Y. We name it Paper Layer 1 and add turbulent noise. Let's adjust the settings. Fractal type, turbulent smooth. We reduce the contrast to 18 and brighten it up 90. Let's open the transform property and scale it way up to 2500. Complexity 10. It's basically a random gray gradient as background. Then we duplicate the solid. And the first thing we'll do is open both turbulent noise properties in the timeline. We grab the parent pick whip of the upper evolution setting and drag it onto the bottom one to link it. Let's close all the properties again and adjust the settings of the second turbulent noise effect. Contrast 55, brightness around 92, scale we're getting smaller around 325. And let's reduce the opacity to 65%. This red means the value is linked. And we set the blending mode to multiply to combine the two layers. Then we duplicate the solid. Adjust the settings once more. Set the fractal type to turbulent basic, contrast to 25, brightness to 95, scale to 15, opacity back to 100%. You can already see the texture. We're getting really detailed now. Duplicate the solid one more time, contrast 15, brightness 90, scale 5. That's the settings I figured out for a nice paper structure. You should play around to get results you might like even better. Keep in mind that compressing it and a bad screen will take away quite a bit of contrast and saturation. So you rather exaggerate. Next, let's animate the evolution. We open the bottom turbulent noise property and click on that little stopwatch while holding option to add an expression. First, we type in posterized time, select it from the menu and add 4 between the parentheses. We set the frame rate to 4 frames per second. Then we add a comma and add time multiplied 100, which means the evolution moves on 100 degrees every second. Awesome. There's something going on, but not too much. All right, here's my second comp I created, named Animation. It's simple, using text and some shapes. Important is that the background is black and all engraved elements are white. Let's create another comp, name it Master, and add the paper texture comp. And the animation comp on top. Then turn the animation into the Luma inverted mat of the paper texture. Now we've basically cut out the white parts. We duplicate the two combs, move them to the bottom and change the track mat to Luma. Which means we've added the cutout parts again. Now we'll add brightness and contrast to the bottom paper texture. And set the brightness to minus 150. Contrast to 15. Which darkens the engraved areas. To colorize it, you could add the tritone effect and change the midtones. Next, we add some depth by adding a layer style to the bottom paper texture. Right click on the comp, go to layer style, inner shadow, open the property and set the opacity to 100%. Set the angle to around 130 degrees, of course it depends on where your light comes from. Distance to 5, depending on how deep you want it to be, size 5 and let's add some noise. 20. Awesome. We have some depth, now let's add some detail to the borders. Therefore, we add another layer style to the top paper texture. This time, bevel and emboss. Style, inner bevel, size 4, angle 330 degrees, altitude 30 degrees. Let's set both highlight and shadow mode to normal. <laughs> One at a time. We set the colors to white and both opacities to 100%. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a subtle highlight along the borders now, which makes it look much more realistic. One last thing. What I like to do is add some lights. So let's create a new solid, Command Y, color purple, grab the pen tool to draw some kind of round mass. Then we open the mask property by pressing M twice and set the mask feather to 750 pixels. And the blending mode to screen. Position the mask wherever you want the light to be. If 
it's too much, reduce the opacity. And finally, we add an adjustment layer, Shift, Command or Control Y and add noise. Around 5% should be enough and we don't use color noise. Awesome! This technique works for any kind of black and white animation. Like this rocket here or this browser window. On the left side I've added some videos you might like, so see you there in a second. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell to get notified when my next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching, see you in the next video, bye!